um, you can either get back to me at, well, let's see how we're going to do this. Anyways, um, I want to say you could probably get a hold of Bruce at, yeah, here it is. Uh, New Prairie Music 77 at gmail.com. New Prairie Music 77 at gmail.com. And I think that's where you can find out. If not, try to get a hold of me um, through my shows or whatever. You can go back to even Captain Boomer stuff and uh, you'll find out. Uh, my. Uh, Oh, jeez. Where the hell did it go, Bob? <laughs> uh, no, nothing physically. That, uh, physical. I mean, you're my hip. That's why I'm fuzzy. Uh, fuzzy, wuzzy, was a bear. Um, no, you get a hold of me at inbred. Inbred, like to eat. Inbred, Ned, N E D, at gmail.com. Inbred, Ned at gmail.com that's uh that's my uh that's my email and you, if you think you're interested in bruce's uh i think it's 12 dollars is what he charged for his uh for his troubled waters brand new um cd out there called troubled shores so yeah there you have it yeah and i'm gonna get the heck out of here and uh you guys have yourself a, a good tuesday all right and like I told you before, but maybe I haven't, because I haven't got out to a lot of people. This is just uh, this is just uh, a retire uh, a re my retirement uh, hobby. I'm not really into trains. I'm not really into uh, you know what I'm saying fishing. I love to fish, but I don't get out nowhere as near as much as I'd like. But this is something I can do. Uh, good, bad, or indifferent, whatever this you know, show. I'm not trying to compete with these younger guys. It's, it, I wouldn't even try. I mean, the, the stuff the the stuff that's out there now for the younger generation uh, is uh, I don't know how else to say it. It's just crap. It's just junk, rap music, and all that other crap. Ah, no. Um, but if you if the if some of the boomers, if you guys are interested in, in uh, hearing some no nonsense stuff, I I just put it out to the way it is because I'd like to think that us boomers, we. We are the greatest generation. Uh, get a lot of argument, get some flack about that, but I don't care. Uh, if you want to add it all up, uh, what we've been through and what the greatest generation's been through and everything, I'm, I'm sure you'll find out not to take anything away from them. Nothing. But, but us boomers, we've been through a lot of crap too. Anyways, so there you have it. And I'm damn proud to be a boomer and that's why I do this because I don't want any of this to fade away. I want to keep it going. Why do you think that a lot of... They, they still play our music on a lot of these commercials. They still play our rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Rolling Stones, they were playing a Cadillac commercial. Uh, this was maybe a year or two ago. Cadillac commercial was playing Rolling Stones. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what does that tell you? It tells you we had some pretty amazing stuff. That's what it tells me, anyway. Right, Bob? That's right. right Hell, Bob? yeah! You damn right. And I'm just going to diddy my on out of here. God bless all my brothers who are going through, going through uh, the atrocities of Agent Orange. God bless you guys. My prayers are out to you guys. I'm so proud to be part, part of that, part of uh, the Vietnam veterans. Thank you. God bless you guys. Have a great Tuesday, and we're going to be diddy mowing out of here because, uh, yeah. Well, who, sh who usually sends us off anyways, Bob? Huh? Yeah, you know. Good old Barney and Barney and Fred. They're going to be scrambling on out of here. God bless you guys. This is Fuzzy from the Walker's Mafia podcast. Checking out from Twin Cities area. God bless you guys. Have a great day. All right. Here we go. Barney and Fred. <laughs> There they are. Diddy Mao!